Hi, I'm Stuart from TurboSmart and welcome to our video today on how to choose a wayscape. TurboSmart's been manufacturing wayscapes for over 20 years. And one of the most common questions that we get is, what size wayscape do I need? Well, how long's a piece of string? There's lots of variables in wayscape selection. We could spend hours discussing, but today we're going to do a very basic guide so that you can get a gauge on where you need to aim for, depending on your circumstances. So what is a wastegate? Right, a wastegate is a pressure control valve designed to bypass hot exhaust gas away from the turbine housing of the turbocharger to control shaft speed and therefore to control boost pressure. It's our primary means of boost control and different engine and turbo combinations require different size wastegates to keep up with that flow demand. Okay, so what are the considerations in wastegate selection? It's important to note that ideally, the people building the exhaust portion of the turbocharger kit and the person doing the tuning on the vehicle will need to be involved in this decision. Factors that we need to in consider when we're looking at our wastegate selection are the displacement of our engine. Generally, the larger the engine, the larger the wastegate. Same with the RPM. If you're going to be running at a higher RPM, you'll be working the wastegate harder, you might need a larger one. Fuel, what type of fuel are you running? Generally, alcohol-based fuels like methanol or E85 increase the exhaust flow demand on the wastegate over a pump gas. The wastegate priority. Is your exhaust manifold designed to give good flow up to the wastegate? We've seen setups that make 14 psi a boost with the wastegate completely removed from the manifold, just leaving a hole where the gate was. Tuning window. Do you want to be able to run high boost, low boost, or be able to run both? We refer to this as your tuning window. When we talk about what you are needing from your wastegate, it's the requirement to turn the boost down that dictates the wastegate size. A wastegate's job is to bypass gas around the turbo to limit boost. So it's always working its hardest on low boost and that'll ultimately decide what size gate you need. And power. How much power are you going to make with all the variables that we've already listed? So what size wastegates does TurboSmart offer? We have five sizes ranging from the 60mm power gate, 50mm pro gate, 45mm hyper gate, 40mm comp gate and the 2 volt flange ultra gate. So each size wastegate in our range has the highest flow rates and the highest heat handling capacity available on the market and come with all the hardware that you need as well as two port options, rotatable actuator housing if you need extra clearance for fittings, optional water cooling and a range of colours. Plus we offer application specific options like CO2, motorsport, high pressure, valve position sensors and now fully electronic. So we have all your options covered and we're happy to help if you have a problem. Turbo sizing versus wastegate sizing. For the sake of simplicity in this video, let's assume we're talking about a piston engine on pump gas and we want a reasonable tuning window. So we want to be able to use a wide range of boost pressures. Here's where we can start to consider turbo sizing versus wastegate size. If we put turbos into sizing groups based on compressor wheel diameter, we can then get a basic understanding of the wastegate options. So a small frame turbo, we're saying up to 60 mil compressor wheel diameter. Medium frame turbo would be 60 to 70 mil compressor wheel diameter. Large frame turbo, we're talking 70 mil and upwards. Now, these days can be up over 100 mil compressor wheel diameter. Now let's do the same with the wastegates to give you an outline of what size wastegate you can aim for with the turbo that you're using. A small frame wastegate, let's say a 40 mil comp gate, 45 mil hyper gate. A medium frame wastegate, 45 to 50 mil wastegate. Large frame, we're saying 50 to 60 mil wastegate. Why do we want a larger gate or a smaller gate? What are the pros and cons around each, each type? One with a larger wastegate, you've got a tuning window. Widest range of boost for traction limited vehicles like Pro Mods, for example. And the larger the gate, the wider the tuning window. It simply means you have more options. You can get lower boost if you need it while still maintaining the higher boost. 
and a larger size makes the wastegate more efficient. And this results in engine bay heat and wear coming down in the wastegate. You can get rid of the heat faster and the gate's not having to do as much work. Also future-proofing. If you upgrade your turbo at a later date, you don't need to upgrade your wastegate because all that's done, you don't have to redo all your pipe work. What are the advantages and disadvantages of the small wastegate? Small wastegate, you can run a smaller wastegate if you're only running higher boost levels or low RPM engines like diesel that have a small volume of exhaust gas. Twin scroll turbocharger usually use two smaller wastegates. Turbos with larger AR turbine housings can get away with a smaller wastegate. You have finer tune on your boost control. It's more compact for tight engine bays. They weigh less and ultimately they cost less, unless you need to do it twice. Okay, some examples of combinations for the street that we might generally recommend. Big block twin turbo, twin 60s, small block twin turbo, twin 50s, six cylinder, single 50 or twin 45s. A single 45s marginal, when in doubt, just go for the 50 or higher. Four cylinder, two liters and over. 45 or a twin scroll, you might use the twin 40s. Four cylinder under two liter, use the single 40. 13B rotary, go a 50 mil or twin scroll 240s and a 20B rotary one at least a 160 mil. As mentioned earlier, you want to make these decisions with the advice of your manifold supplier, turbocharger supplier and your tuner. Get as much advice as you can. We hope this video has helped you understand a little bit more about selecting the correct TurboSmart wastegate for your application. Stay tuned for frequently asked questions. Thanks for watching and remember, keep on building.